What's up guys? My name is Mike and I'm restoring this old Jumbo into a functional bass boat. Since I've started, we've clearly got a lot done, but for today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on the back deck. If you'd like to catch up on anything we've done before, I'll have a playlist in the description so you guys can check it out. So as I said, my goal for this video is to get started on the back deck. The idea I'm going for is going to be a back deck that extends from the front of the bench seat all the way to the back of the transom. There's going to be some type of access port or opening in the center to be able to access the gas tank and things like that. In addition, I'm going to be doing some cable management with the throttle shifting and steering cables. For the decking material itself, I have some half inch plywood here. I wanted to go with something a little bit thicker for the back platform just to make sure it's nice and sturdy while you're walking around. First thing I need to do is start getting some measurements. I want to get my full measurements from the front of the back bench seat to the transom and then get some pieces rough cut in place and then I can start working on angling it out for how it needs to sit. Uh, so basically what we're trying to build, we're going to do, uh, so we got our bench seat and then we got the boat, we got 39 inches and then width we have 64 inches. All right, so to start, I think I'm just gonna rip this piece of wood down to 39 by 64, see how it sits in here and what we may need to modify. Uh, at that point, we can go ahead and continue on the different parts. Okay, so I think how I'm gonna handle this is just come in the 64 inch length, cut that off, and then cut off down to 39 inches in width. Width-wise, we're good. Length-wise, we're good. Now, I'm gonna have to figure out where my cutout is gonna be, get that in place. That way I can start figuring out how exactly I'm gonna route these cables. Okay, to figure out how much of a gap I need between the transom and the back deck, I need to get my routing for these steering cables, throttle cables, and all that set up. So, about 30 zip ties later, this is looking much, much cleaner. I am really happy with how this looks now. The motor turns nice and smoothly, and all the cables are managed. So basically for the back deck, it's gonna run all the way to the transom under the corners of the boat here. But in the center, there's gonna be a small cutout just so the cables aren't binding or rubbing on the back deck. And then starting at the cutout, it's gonna lift up to have more access to the back storage area here. That's good. That's really good, I'm happy with that. I need to make some type of cutout to allow the cabling to come up from the bottom of the deck here. Let's start with this, and then we'll see if it fits a little bit better afterwards. Okay, so I think I have this all trimmed up now. Notice that it was binding right in the corners towards the back of the transom. There was like some uh, framework under there I didn't account for. So I just cut those two edges off and got everything sanded up. So now it's looking really good. Hopefully this is gonna be the final fitment. Let's go ahead and throw it in the boat, see how it looks. All right, so here it is. It is fitting absolutely perfect. There's no rubbing on the corners now. Uh, it's flush right with the front of the bench seat here. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. I'm super happy with it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out the hatch lid. Once that's cut, we're going on to epoxy. Beautiful. I need a room to open and close. I got a little bit of room to account for the uh, carpet. Now, um, I've got the epoxy heating up in the house. I've got the garage heating up right now. I'll be able to get to epoxy in the next couple minutes. 
Okay, so just like last time, I'm using the Better Boat Epoxy Resin. This stuff worked really great, sealing all the side panels, so I'm excited to use it for the back deck. The one thing I'm gonna do a little bit different this time is I'm gonna go much heavier on the pour on the top side because I really wanna make sure that that is just completely waterproofed and it's also gonna stand up over time to being walked on and things like that. Okay, so I think that's mixed up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a whole bunch onto the table and spread it out with a brush. All right, well, we're back out here about two days later, checking on everything after it's cured. And I gotta say, yet again, this tabletop epoxy has worked really, really well for getting this all sealed up. This has a really thick coating on it. I'm really happy with it. This is going to be the visible face of the hatch lid. I made sure to come back while it was curing and hit it with the blowtorch a couple times to get any bubbles out of it. And wow, that came out really, really nice. I'm really happy with that. So the next step now is to get these pieces of wood carpeted. I'm gonna go ahead and fully sand down and get it prepped for carpet glue. All right, so that finished up the back deck sanding. This got all the high spots knocked down on the edges. Let's just make sure it still fits into place and works. Okay, still match up, good there. Have a little bit of side to side room to account for the carpet. Moves up well, no clearance issues. The underside is nice and glossy still. Perfect. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and get our carpet cut to size. All right, with the carpet cut, glue on. I have more detailed videos on how to carpet plywood. If you guys want to check that out, I'll throw a card up right now and there'll definitely be links in the description at the end of the video. For now, I'm going to go ahead and get this carpet installed and stapled and move on to the last piece. All the tools and materials will be in the description if you guys need them. Okay, after drying overnight, the glue has set and everything is looking really good. I am super happy with how the hatch lid came out. The carpeting is so clean looking. It's gonna look really good when you're lifting up the hatch and you see that nice glossy finish. I'm really happy with that. Wow, that is looking absolutely perfect. I am very, very happy with how this looks. Now let's go see if the lid fits. I'm gonna leave that wedge like that just to get a visual on how this all looks. But yeah, that is looking so, so nice. Oh, plenty of room, plenty of room. Oh, we're good. We are good.